So hello guys, this is the man Piggy5 here once again, back at you with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna share some helpful tips with you guys on how to defend B-side as a CT on DDoS2. Because you see a lot of people doing this wrong, and just a simple a simple quick fixes and uh, that sort of stuff can really make all the difference in your gameplay and help your team get the win. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm back guys and uh, in advance I would like to apologize for the keyboard sound like this which you might hear throughout the video. It's my keyboard which has some uh, Cherry MX switches which do make quite a lot of sound but uh, it is live so I uh, hope you don't mind that. But uh, let's get straight into it and uh, let me restart the round here so I can show you what you should do from the beginning of the round. Alright at the beginning of the round let me give myself some money. At the beginning of the round, what you want to do is when you know that you're gonna go to the B side, always, always buy a smoke grenade and a flashbang. Uh, what you're gonna do after that uh, is I like to buy an incendiary or a smoke. In this case, I'm gonna buy a grenade to show you what I mean, what I'm gonna do with it. Now, um, a lot of the times, what happens is people cross here and they get hit or they get you know headshotted through the wall right here by an opera that might be sitting at t-spawn just guarding the doors like this and it's not what you want to happen uh, you do not want to get hit by this and a couple things that people do is um, what you can do actually you can take a smoke grenade and bounce it off this wall and what will happen is you, you it, it will pop here and you can walk right behind it and the t's will not know how many people cross the site and let me quickly set my profile to offline all right um uh, people they won't know where you are so you can cross safely but a lot of the time what you want to do is you want to save that smoke grenade for later to throw into the tunnel so what i like to do is get a grenade and if you bounce it off this wall like this what happens is uh, you see the smoke plume up now i'm not the best at throwing this grenade yet but um yeah, if you see this smoke plume up a somebody sitting here um he will not be able to spot you because of the smoke well, let me try to get the um get the grenade correctly yeah kind of like that and you can do that just throw the grenade like this and then you can pop on by and the upper will not be able to see you and you'll still have a smoke grenade handy now what you want to do right after you get here is pop a smoke right in tunnels now what this smoke does is it allows uh, it it does not allow the T's to rush into B very quickly because if there's not a smoke here they can easily just clear out that angle and everything but if there's a smoke they are either forced to wait behind the smoke or they have to actually push through the smoke in which in case uh, if they do that that will be easy pickings for you because you will be able to see them faster than they can see you so always 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 if you get into the site throw a smoke grenade into the tunnels and you should be fine now after that there are a couple of positions which you can play B side from um, if you're playing uh, I'm just gonna name a few a lot of people like to camp right here in the car and you can listen for footsteps from tunnels I don't really like this spot because if they rush out with uh, more than two people uh, more often than not you might kill one of them but you will get traded out pretty quickly so this is a spot that you want to play if there's maybe a second guy that is maybe right here and he's covering for you. Another spot that people like to play is right here. Now what this uh, allows you to do is allows you to hide. You can hear the enemies as they are walking down here and you can actually hide. And when they're not expecting it, uh, they think there's nobody here. You can actually pop out and start shooting them in the face. Uh, it's something that I do quite often. But um, you shouldn't do it all the time because they will start expecting you. One position you can place right here, which at the lower ranks definitely works. Keep in mind your gun does stick, stick out quite often. I think the M4A1 sticks out right here. So you want to be looking into the wall like this. But when you hear them coming out, a lot of the times what happens is they will push out and they'll just do this, 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 and then you can shoot them all on the back. But however, this position on the higher ranks, what people will do quite often is just bounce a grenade off that and just pre-aim that and you're 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 obviously dead if they do that so i don't like to play this spot quite often one spot which you can play is uh, right here you can actually jump right like this and jump on top of the box now why i dislike this spot very much is because um 
when doing the jump you're actually very audible they can hear you jumping on the car and onto the box it does make a very distinct sound so if they hear that a lot of the times they'll come pre-aiming like this and if you do not have a shotgun or anything you're at, you're pretty much dead if that happens uh, another spot is from the door right here which is good if you got a bad spawn and you're pretty slow because if they rush 5v1 what you can just do is you can just fall back maybe throw a flashbang off of this box and then try to kill them or what you can do is you can play from the window like this and if they rush as i said you can bounce a flash like this and then peek out and kill them but the absolute best spot which i think if you're playing solo b is um right in these boxes now what you can do is as i said there will be a smoke like this if you threw it before and what you can you can just bounce a uh, jiggle peek between this just like this uh, don't let the enemy see you and if you see one of them you can just maybe like uh, if they're rushing four people out of the tunnels uh, a lot of people what they'll do is they'll panic and they'll like try to kill everybody like this don't try and do that if you see them brushing out on you just try to stay alive just try to jiggle peek and just try to um, bait the enemies because your teammates will be coming to help you like this and because they are still in the bomb site, they will have to worry about you so what you want to do is just hide right here just play with them maybe take a few pop shots like this and then maybe even kill some of them um, but what you want to do absolutely if you see them rush take a flash stand behind this box and if you see this sign right here just bounce it off of that and you can peek out now this flash what will do it will bounce off this one and land directly here and oftentimes when they're rushing they will look like this and they will be fully blinded by this and what I like to do if I have two more than one flashes I can flash once like this turn around and do a run jump throw like this which will bounce right here if they if they manage to avoid this flash like this they usually come like this and they'll be blinded by that flash and in that case you have bought a lot of time for your team to rotate in and take the bomb site or you can actually just pop this flash and pop that flash and then just peek out and kill them because they will be full flashed like uh, around like right here um, but oftentimes when they're rushing 4v1 you just want to maybe kill one of them and just play hide and seek with them until your teammate comes now one spot that I like to play a lot if I have an AVP let me just give myself an AWP is right here uh, a lot of people like to play like this with the AWP um, some people like to play like this I've seen this but uh, the absolute best spot in my opinion is when you get on top of this ledge and look over the box like this if you have some good reaction and an o and an, t and an enemy sorry comes like this he's gonna be dead nine times out of ten and when that happens you can just take the shot and fall back and maybe use this flash that I just taught you and then take a peek again uh, some people like to camp up here which also works fine um, but I have seen some people uh, that have some really good aim uh, what they can do is they can just come here and just pre-aim you like this or they will just grenade you out of there uh, so keep in mind of that uh, that's what I like to play on this angle right here just gives me a lot of cover but you, what you don't want to do if you know they're rushing don't try to jump on top of this because you're pretty visible if you jump like this and when you're jumping and landing you you are not accurate right as you land so you do have to wait so what I would just do in that case just pop up a flash and just hide with them but um, yeah, I hope you guys um, found this video useful. I uh, hope you got, hope you learned something from it. To recap, uh, everything I just said. When coming out of T spawn, you want to block up the vision of the terrorist, so you can cross safely. Always, always, always throw a smoke grenade into tunnel if you have one, and then just play right here. Or if you have more than one teammate supporting, you can play an angle like this. Um, so they so you can bait out the enemy shot from there and you know teammate can support you if you're solo just stand here uh, and bait them out with flashes that you can throw like this like this and also behind you like this well guys hope you found this video helpful tell me what uh, kind of video you want to see next well, now guys this has been the man that and I'm out